Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, we're making Dutch Babies and Orange Julius. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. Dutch babies. You're probably wondering what in the world is a Dutch baby? Well, sometimes people call them German pancakes. It's this delicious uh, flour, milk, egg concoction. You bake it and it puffs up and it's delicious. It's great for breakfast. I grew up having it as a light dinner if we'd have a super big Sunday meal. And it's also near and dear to my heart because when I was young, probably... I was talking to my mom, I think I was either nine or 10. I was involved in 4-H in our community. We had to do demonstrations in front of judges. My friends and I made this. So we made Dutch babies and Orange Julius together. We went to one of our neighboring community high schools back in the day when they actually taught home ec. And they had a home ec room there with three bays of kitchens. We had to set a table, serve our guests, invite them to come. We learned time, ma time management just how to prepare a recipe <laughs> under pressure, especially it's pretty cool when you're nine and 10. It was a really good experience. I remember being scared <laughs> just because <laughs> you're nine and 10 and you're no, mom's, mom's not there, she can't help you. It's almost like Hell's Kitchen or <laughs> or getting chopped. I would say it's paid off. I'm gonna share that with you guys today. It's all done in the blender. I usually serve it for a Sunday dinner when we just want something light. It is really delicious, it's super easy to make. So I'm using my Bosch mixer. Make sure you got it suction cup down. This is another use because it has a blender attachment to it. So get our blender tight, nice and tight. But the very first thing we wanna do um, is get a nine by 13 glass and put a couple tablespoons. This is two, just over two tablespoons of butter in there. And we're gonna take it over to a 400 degree oven and set this in here. Um, and we're gonna wait for the butter to melt and then we're gonna pour the hot batter into the hot pan and then we'll cook it for about 20 minutes. So let's get the nine by 13 with two tablespoons of butter in a 400 degree oven. Let's see, I have this one going. So as your oven heats up, your butter's gonna melt because we wanna put that batter in a hot pan. So the first thing we're gonna need is four eggs. I'm just going to crack them right into my blender. I know with the price of eggs, this is turning into a fancy dinner. <laughs> I do think we did, we scored very well on this uh, demonstration. Everybody loved it and the judges, I think they give us pretty high marks. I think I still have that piece of paper. In fact, I think I know where it's at. We'll have to go pull that out. All right, so we got four eggs. I'm gonna grab one cup of milk. Now, I will say this recipe is pretty flexible. Last week, I tried it with gluten-free flour and coconut milk, and it turned out perfectly. I have a picture to show you up here, and it was delicious. So if you have um, gluten or dairy issues, this swaps out super easy. All right, one cup of milk going in. We also need one cup of flour. And we'll also need about a teaspoon of vanilla. I just usually just pour some in. A half a teaspoon of salt. Let's see if I can do a half in the hole. There we go. Uh, this recipe is also flexible in the amount of sugar. If you want it more of a savory uh, Dutch baby, you can add less sugar. I have just under a quarter cup here of just plain white sugar I'm gonna add to that. And then I also have two tablespoons of melted butter. All right, so let's put my lid on. This just has to blend for 20 seconds. Here we go. All right, so that's it. 
That's how easy it was. So as soon as our butter is melted and our oven temperature has come to heat and it beeps, I will be pouring this batter into the hot nine by 13 and then it's gonna bake for 18 minutes. And then when that's baking, I'll show you how to make an orange Julius also in the blender that we um, did with this nice, I think we served it for lunch that day. So this is the first time I remember <laughs> having to rearrange the oven racks and I caught my pot holder on fire during the demonstration. I will not forget that. <laughs> so my oven just beeped, my butter's melted. I'm gonna give this a quick zhuzh. And I always do that because on a Bosch mixer, there's a hole in the top for the funnel. Okay, so bring your blender mixture over here. Grab your pot holders. You can see it's all nice and toasty in there. Woo, I know it is hot. I'm just gonna, delicious. And then we're just pour it in. Okay, and gently push it back in the oven. Set your timer for 18 minutes. Our Dutch babies are in the oven. Wash your blender out really good, and um, then we'll get ready to make the orange Julia. So mine's already washed. I have less than a half, this is the big, huge Costco size, of orange juice concentrate, and I'm just gonna dump it in here and use it. You want six, about six to eight ounces of the frozen orange juice concentrate. So get that in your blender. We're gonna add anywhere between a quarter to a third cup of sugar. Splash of vanilla. We're gonna put there one cup of milk in here. One cup of cold water. So I'm just gonna get it out of the fridge here. and two cups of ice. So pardon the sound, but I'm gonna get some ice here. Woo! Okay, I see so that's good. Everyone dumping ice everywhere. So I've got anywhere from whole ice cubes to crushed and pour it in here. Wow. <laughs> All the fun. And this is loud, but it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be like an orange creamsicle here. Woo! That's pretty much it. You got an orange Julius. Now you can add strawberries or bananas or any other kind of fruit to this if you'd like. Let's see if I can get this off. It's screwed on so tight. Got a little glass here. I remember when I was a kid, we'd get these at the mall. And I know theirs had egg white in them, but this is egg white free. Mmm. Delicious. Ooh, that's good. Orange Julius to go with your Dutch babies. We're just gonna hang on to these until our Dutch babies, they have about 10 minutes left. I'm gonna get some fruit sliced up and some powdered sugar ready to put on our Dutch babies and then we'll be back. Ooh, this looks beautiful. Look at that. Let me grab a plate. Look at how beautiful this is. Now I've made this um, in a pie pan before if you wanna like cut it in half, but I really like this size. So I have some fresh berries here. I've just cut up and then I had some whipped cream in the fridge. I whipped that up. Then I got a little powdered sugar. If you want to do maple syrup on here, you can too. So let's cut into this. It's hot.
You can see though how it grows up the side of the pan and really puffs. I think it's time to sharpen this knife. Okay, so let's take some Dutch Baby out. I'm gonna put some fresh berries on it because that's what I like. Make it all pretty. Put a dollop of whipped cream. And then the pretty thing is to dust it with powdered sugar. I don't have any mint, so Imagine a very nice sprig of green on it. Let me get a bite here. All right, so I went and tucked my orange Julius in our freezer, um, just for the sake of shooting with this camera. If I was making this at home, I would wait almost until this came out to make the orange Julius. But I'm gonna pour ourselves another glass because we pretty much drank the other one. So there's that. We have our beautiful Dutch baby with some fresh fruit and uh, some powdered sugar. Man, that is beautiful. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. It's light, it's fluffy, it's wonderful. It makes a great breakfast, makes a great dinner. You've got a great quick companion of some Orange Julius, which is a super fun treat. I think this is easy enough where you can get your kids involved in the kitchen, because heck, if I could make it when I was nine, I think your kids could too. Yum, yum, yum. So I hope you enjoyed the background behind this childhood memory of mine. And uh, just put some extra, I don't know, variety into your meals, making a Dutch baby or a German pancake with some fresh fruit and an orange Julius. So I say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I sure loved having you. I hope your day is going well. And I hope you are well, and I'll see you on the next episode. But don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and turn the bell on for notifications. I'd love to hear from you guys. You guys have a great day. Dutch Babies and Orange Julius. Well, hey, everybody. It's time for Dutch Babies and Orange Julius. There we go. Here we go. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, we're making Dutch Babies. Dutch Babies. Dutch wow. Babies. Dutch Dutch Babies. Dutch babies. It's not Italian. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. And I won, but to who? You gonna drink a whole orange Julius? Heck yeah, I am. Are you kidding me? Do you want this size? A little baby one, I'll have a couple. That's delicious. Gonna taste good, I know.